Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you love exploring Samsung updates and One UI tips, you're in the right place. Today we're diving into seven cool useful features in One UI 8. Some are brand new and a few are upgraded classics that have become even better. So stick around till the end because number seven is a total game changer and I call it the auto screenshot deleter. And before we jump in, let's aim for 500 likes on this video. Don't forget to like, drop a comment with your favorite feature and subscribe for more One UI tips every day. So the first one is where you can turn on Wi-Fi calling. So this feature lets you make and receive calls over Wi-Fi instead of relying solely on mobile network. So it's perfect when you're in areas with weak signal area, but you have a stable Wi-Fi connection, or if you have a low data allowance on your mobile contract. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up your phone app. Next, tap on the three dots at the top right, then tap on settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down all the way until you see Wi-Fi calling. So go ahead and tap on it and then turn it on. So now you can go ahead and make and receive calls over Wi-Fi connection whenever available. So this will ask you if you want to turn on Wi-Fi calling. So your location will send to Google and your service provider. So you wanna go ahead and check your privacy policies of Google and the service provider to see how they handle this data. So if you agree with that, tap on turn on, and now this will turn on Wi-Fi calling. And now if you tap on calling preference, you can go ahead and choose what is preferred, Wi-Fi calling or mobile network. If you're on low data allowance, then I would highly suggest go to Wi-Fi preferred so that whenever it's connected to a Wi-Fi, it uses Wi-Fi first. And then, it, and then, and then when there is no Wi-Fi present, it'll then switch over to mobile network. So with Wi-Fi calling, you get crystal clear call quality, even in low network zones, it saves mobile data and improves your reliability. And this is great for international travelers using Wi-Fi in hotels or airports. The second one is photo to calendar. So this clever feature automatically detects dates from photos like event posters or invitations and suggest adding them straight to your Samsung calendar. Now this is an app which I found from the Play Store. It's called Snap Event, so it looks like this. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description down below so you can go ahead and download it. Now on this app here, you can go ahead and choose a photo from your gallery or maybe a picture which you've taken of an event, of an event poster or an invitation. And here I'll just go ahead and just take some flight details, which I have saved. Go ahead and crop your image and then go ahead and process it. So let Snap Event have a look at this image of yours. It'll take some time as it's basically analyzing your photo. Now from here, you can see that it has extracted all this information, the start date, end date, location, time zone. And then it's got two dates here. So one for the 21st and the other one is for the 22nd. So you can go ahead and save this to your calendar by tapping save to calendar, allow that. And now that event has been added to your calendar. So like this, you can take a photo of a concert ticket. This app will basically pick up the date and it adds it to your calendar instantly. So no more forgetting important events, your phone does the work for you. So this is perfect for students, professionals, or anyone juggling multiple plans, and it keeps your calendar accurate without manual entry. The third one is where you can play the Android Space Machine game. So this is a fun interactive Easter egg style feature, which lets you explore a virtual Android space machine. So it's a cool throwback experience mixed with futuristic visual. So let me show you how to get this game. So it's completely free of charge. It's in your phone itself. Go ahead and open up settings. Scroll down and find about phone. Next, go ahead and scroll down and find software information. Now from here, find Android version and then go ahead and tap multiple times until you see this logo here. Now you're gonna go ahead and long press on this logo until you see those stars moving really quick. And then this will take you into your game. So this is a Easter egg from Android. You can go ahead and start playing it. You can do an auto version. So the aim of the game is to reach to a certain point and like this, you basically reach to different, different points and go up the level. So this is a fun and nostalgic game and it's a great way to show off your One UI's 8 playful side. You can demonstrate Samsung's smooth graphics and animation performance. And this is great for users who really enjoy discovering hidden system interactions on their phone. The fourth one is the new weather widget. So One UI 8 introduces a revamped weather app with a clean layout, live animation, and smoother temperature transition. So let me show you the new app here. I'll go ahead and search for the weather app. So as you can see, this is the new layout of the weather app with some new animations just at the top here. 
So this is a real-time dynamic visual like moving clouds, rain, and sun. At a glance, you get an update for temperature, air quality, and UV index. So this is fully customizable to your location. The fifth one is your fitness challenge. So Samsung Health has now integrated better with One UI 8, introducing the fitness challenges. So you can compete with friends or set personal step goals directly from your home screen widget. So let me show you how to set this up. So first, go ahead and open up the Samsung Health app. Here, you need to go ahead and tap on Together, and then go ahead and tap on Create Challenge at the top. Now here, you need to go ahead and choose an activity. So if you want walking or running, so let's go ahead and choose walking. You can go ahead and be the, the only one. You can go ahead and choose a title, the start date, and your target, and then you can go ahead and create one. So now you can go ahead and invite friends. If, if you don't want to, you can go ahead and just do it yourself. And then you can go ahead and create your own challenges. So my challenges here is to get to 50,000 steps first. So this keeps you motivated with live progress tracking. It encourages a friendly competition and daily activity, and it helps to maintain a consistent fitness routine. So if you pair it with your Galaxy Watch, this will be even more accurate for tracking as well. The sixth one is where your screenshots are now organized. So One UI 8 automatically sorts your screenshots in folders like social, chats, or download. So this is based on where they came from. So let me show you this screenshot organization. So go ahead and open up Gallery. Now from Gallery, you'll go ahead and open up Albums. From here, tap on Screenshots. So now as you can see, they're all categories at the top here. I've right now selected on all, so these are all the screenshots. However, you can go ahead and choose vouchers. So these will only show vouchers. Shopping. So this will only show your shopping, all the products. Locations. This will show all your locations. Barcodes and QR codes, and many more. So if there is more screenshots, it'll basically create all different categories for you. So no more messy gallery. So this is easy to find screenshots on specific apps using the categories. It saves time when managing files or sharing screenshots later. Just to recap, you can find them right under gallery, albums, and screenshot. And lastly, the seventh one is where you have a auto screenshot deleter on your Samsung Galaxy device. So this one is one of the most smartest cleanup tools yet. So screenshots are automatically deleted after a set time, maybe a few minutes later, few hours later, or a few days later. So let me show you the app first. So the app is called Mark. I'll leave a link in the description down below. If you go ahead and tap on this, you can go ahead and configure all this, screenshot deletion time, your refill. Of course, this is not a free app, so after 40 days, I need to pay for it. And then you can go ahead and do this extra time chip. So this premium feature will provide extra time chips, which will allow more flexibility in scheduling screenshot deletion. However, I just want to go ahead and use this screenshot deletion time. So let's just have an example, I took a screenshot. This will tell you that you've taken a screenshot. After how many minutes you want to go ahead and delete it? 10 minutes, two hours, three days, or you want to keep it forever? So you can go ahead and choose 10 minutes. Now, after 10 minutes, that particular screenshot will be deleted from your phone. So this keeps your storage clutter-free automatically. No more manually cleaning up after sharing screenshots. And this is great for privacy as these temporary screenshots disappear on their own. So this is perfect for users who take a lot of screenshots daily. And that's it, seven awesome One UI 8 features that make your Galaxy experience even smoother, smarter, and more fun. Which feature was your favorite? Drop it in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you're using the most. And don't forget to smash the like button. Let's hit our goal of 500 likes and subscribe for more One UI tips, hidden features, and updates every day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.